might as well just go in the bin. And welcome back to the Hairy Housewife YouTube channel. You are beautiful at home. And if you haven't guessed from that opening title sequence, we are talking about a cordless mini machine polisher. And we are talking about the Max Shine V2 mini cordless polisher, or as it's otherwise known, M0312 V2. So my lovely wife bought this for me for Christmas, and I've used it a fair bit since owning it. And I thought, you know what? It's about time I review it and pop it on YouTube. So that's what we're doing here today. Now, first things first, let's take a look and see what you get inside this lovely bag. Now, the first part of this kit I'm gonna pull out of this very well presented bag is the polisher body itself. Now, this 80 watt, 12 volt mini cordless polisher with its six speed settings from 2000 RPM all the way up to 4700 RPM with its easy pull trigger and its locking button to hold the trigger in place there. And don't forget that little LED display on top to tell you your battery level and what speed you have the polisher set at. Now you also get these two 12 volt 2AH Max Shine branded batteries with this button on the bottom to show the battery level on the LED display gauge right here. And you also get that 12 volt charger for these batteries. Now you may notice it does come with an American plug, but you also have this adapter it comes with We'll talk about that a little bit later on. Now inside this little box here are all the accessories that comes with this polisher that you'll need to use with its various attachments. And again, we'll talk about that in just a short while. And then underneath that little accessory box is this collar for the polisher itself. It doesn't serve any purpose whatsoever other than being designed for aesthetics. Now you also get this bag of mixed polishing pads that comes with the machine polisher itself. You have five red two inch finishing pads, five two inch yellow polishing pads, five wool cutting pads, and five microfiber pads. You also get this same selection in the 1.5 inch size. Also, now the pads themselves do feel a little bit cheap and nasty. However, the wool pads and the microfiber pads do feel really, really nice in your hand and I have used these before and they do feel really really nice to use but the other pads do feel cheap and nasty and don't feel like they're going to last more than a few uses. Now down to the charger itself, like I said it does come with this American style 2 pin plug but you also get this adapter and it's simple to use just pop that 2 pin plug inside the adapter like so and then just tighten that screw in the middle of the plug. And once we have that in there nice and tight, you can see it's nice and snug in there and it doesn't come out no matter how hard you pull it. Now on to that little box of accessories that come with this machine. Now first up, we have that two inch backing plate for the polisher, followed up by the 1.5 inch backing plate as well. And then we have that 12 mil fro dual action adapter, followed up by that three mil fro dual action adapter. And then we have two spanners. We have an 11 mil spanner and a 10 mil spanner to take on and off various attachments for this machine. And then we have the one inch extension bar followed up by the three inch extension bar. Now one accessory this machine didn't come with that some other mini polishers on the market do is a three inch backing plate. So I had to go and buy myself a three inch backing plate from Amazon. I'll pop the link in the description below because it's a nightmare to find the exact fit in for this machine. And I've also bought some three inch polishing pads from Dodo Juice. Now, before you ask, this is the maximum size backing plate and pad that I would recommend using on a polisher of this kind. So now we've seen what's inside that bag. Let's see how this polisher performs. So before we get started with the polisher, the Skoda behind me has had a good wash. The parts we're gonna be polishing today has been deconned and clay barred, and we're ready to go. Now, first things first, we need to put this polisher together. Now I'm first starting off with it 
in rotary mode and I'm popping on that one inch extension rod and I'm using the supplied spanners just to give it a nice little tighten. Then make sure to pop that collar on if you want to pop it on before you pop the backing plate on and then pop that backing plate on and at this specific time I am using that three inch backing plate and I'm again popping that spanner in there to tighten that backing plate up. And then all we need to do is just pop the battery in and away we go. Now this isn't a machine polishing demonstration, this is just a demonstration on the polisher itself. So please don't take notice of my methods in this video as they are just for demonstrating this polisher purpose only. Now I've popped Dodo Juice's Shark Fin Medium Cut Polishing Pad onto the polisher and I've paired that up with Dodo Juice's Depth Charge Polish. Now I am just spreading this polish out on low speed and the polisher itself does feel really nice in hand and on low speed I can't feel any nasty vibrations. Now once I turn that speed up to speed 4, this polisher feels strong, it feels nice and again, no nasty vibrations on my hand whatsoever. Now even if I do push down on this polisher with some force, you can see this polisher is not cutting out and it is carrying on spinning. No matter how hard I push this polisher, it just keeps on going. Now on rotary mode, I cannot fault this polisher whatsoever. It is strong, it is powerful, it doesn't cut out if you put excessive force on it and it doesn't have no nasty vibrations. But what about if I pop that 3mm dual action accessory on and then go over with a finishing pad and polish. Now straight off the back, I can feel something isn't right with this machine. I am putting hardly any pressure on the machine whatsoever. Well, I try and spread this polish out and I'm noticing that backing plate is just stalling. However, I am just hoping it's because I have it on low speed. But even when I crank that speed up, you can see that backing plate is just not spinning and I am putting little to no pressure on that pad whatsoever. So I started to wonder, is this backing plate too big to use with this machine on dual action mode? So I stepped it down to the two inch backing plate and the red two inch finishing pad you can see, still the same issue. And it's even worse for these pads because these red finishing pads are so soft. They buckle under the machine polisher's weight. I'm having to lift the polisher off the paintwork just to get it to slightly spin. But even then you can see, it just still isn't that great. So I was wondering, maybe this 3 mil dual action adapter will work better with that 1.5 inch backing plate. As you can see, with that 1.5 inch backing plate and that red 1.5 inch polishing pad, it is spinning and it is working, but again, it's still not great. I am taking the weight off of this polisher and it still struggles to not stall. So that 3 mil throw attachment, might as well just go in the bin. So what about with that 12 mil throw attachment? Now, as I spread the polish out, you can see it is moving a lot more than that 3 mil attachment. And once I turn the polisher up to speed four, you can see we're in luck. That back end plate is spinning like a dream. And this polisher is working exactly how you expect a dual action polisher to work. Now, what about if I do want to apply a little bit of pressure to this machine? Will this back end plate stall? Well, on speed four, you can see I am compressing that pad down and I'm putting a lot of weight on the polisher and the machine is not stalling. Even if I give it some abuse by pushing down hard and shaking it around fast, you can see it's coping with the abuse. Now, if I turn that machine all the way up to speed six, I can push with all my might and it ain't cutting out. And if I turn the speed all the way down to one, even with some excessive force, you can still see that pad is barely stalling. So as long as you're using this polisher as a rotary or in 12mm throw dual action mode, 
it won't let you down. So what if you wanted to use this polisher on larger areas? How will it feel in your hand? And how well does it perform on a big panel? Now, as I started to spread that polish out here, I could feel something was wrong. And I thought maybe, maybe I'm putting too much pressure on, maybe it's struggling on a larger panel. And then it clicked. I've accidentally put that 3 mil throw adapter on. And again, you can see just how useless that 3 mil throw adapter is. You can just see the polisher is stalling. Now, once I corrected my mistake and popped that 12 mil throw adapter on, you can see this polisher has picked up and is working as you'd expect from a dual action polisher. Now, again, I definitely wouldn't recommend using any bigger backing plate than three inches. And for me, on a larger area like this, three inches is just far too small to cover such a large area. It just takes such a long amount of time. This is where I'd want to be using a five inch dual action polisher or rotary. However, that being said, this polisher does feel really nice in the hand. And you can see it's just such an easy polisher to control. Now this polisher is not designed for larger areas. It's designed for smaller areas such as panels, trims, door handles and behind door handles, even headlights. And it's also ideal for doing spot corrections and spot scratch removals. So now we've seen that mini polisher in action. I just want to talk to you a little bit about why I bought the Max Shine V2 and why I wanted to buy myself a mini cordless polisher. Now the reason I bought the Max Shine V2 is very, very simple. I couldn't afford a Flex PXE 80 as much as I wanted one, couldn't afford one. This was the next option in my price range. Now, why do I want to buy a mini cordless polisher? Well, other than polishing, the main reason I bought this for is so I can grab myself a product like this. Now, this is Poxy from 3D. This is kind of like a hybrid wet wax sealant. This is ideal to be spread out with a dual action polisher. And I like using this with a three inch pad on a cordless machine polisher. And this cordless machine polisher is ideal to do that job. Now, unlike polishing and compounding, you don't need to move your arm so slow. So it doesn't take as long as you'd think to wax a whole vehicle with this polisher. And another product I like to use this polisher for, Dodo Juice's Iron Gloss Liquid Sealant. Although it doesn't specify doing this on the bottle, this just helps spread it out to give you a nice, even coat across the entire vehicle. And then finally, if you're like me and you're a lover of old school paste waxes, then this polisher can be used with a paste wax. Now, depending on the size of the pot you've got, depends on the size of the pad you can use. Now, I'm using the two inch pad here today and I'm using Dodo Juice's Rainforest Rub. Now, the reason I like to use a polisher for spreading out these kind of waxes is because you get a nice, even layer all round, which ensures a nice, even coat and that the product is easy to buff off. Now, once all three products are spread out in a nice, even layer, they're just such a dream to buff off. And that is exactly why I wanted to buy this polisher. Now, after about an hour's worth of abuse, that battery is now dead. It died just as I was filming this last bit of footage here, and that is still the first battery I popped into this machine. It's completely dead. So it's time to pop that battery on charge. And let's have a talk about this polisher. So there we have it. And that has been this Max Shine Mini V2 cordless polisher. Now, what do I feel about this cordless polisher? Well, I really like it. The polisher itself is built really, really well. It comes with some nice attachments. The pads it comes with are a little bit questionable. The microfiber and the wall pads are really, really nice. The other pads feel cheap, really flimsy, and feel like they ain't gonna last more than one polish. So I would definitely recommend upgrading your pads and also grab yourself one of those three inch backing plates. Now that's one of the drawbacks about buying this machine. It doesn't come with the attachments some of the other machine polishers on the market have, like the SPTA mini cordless polisher. It comes with a three inch backing plate. It comes with more attachments. It comes with the brush. It comes with a lot more than this V2 cordless polisher. However, I have had a play with both machines and I just like the feeling of this Max Shine V2 more. I like the digital display on it. 
and I also like the battery indicator level on the actual battery itself. So other than the lack of attachments, I do prefer this machine build quality and feel over other mini cordless polishers that are on the market. Now this machine does feel really, really well balanced. You're not looking at Flex PXE 80 quality, you're not looking at Flex PXE 80 balancing, but you're also not looking at the Flex PXE 80 price. At 200 pounds, this is an affordable machine to anybody that is looking for a cordless machine polisher. Now performance wise, the machine itself does perform really, really nicely. Now that three mil throw attachment, you might as well pop that straight in the bin. For me, it was absolutely useless. I couldn't get it to work properly on this machine. However, the 12 mil throw worked really, really nicely and I had to put some force on the machine to get it to stall. Now for a mini cordless polisher, the rotary on that is quite nice and ideal for so many different jobs around the vehicle. Now, would I recommend buying this mini V2 cordless polisher from MaxShine? Well, if you can't afford a Flex PXE80, then this is definitely, for me, the next best bet. For the price of this machine, it is built well, it is balanced, and it feels really, really nice quality. The only letdown is the attachments this machine comes with. Now, it doesn't come with a three inch backing plate like some of the other polishers on the market do, and it doesn't come with that brush attachment, again, like some of the other polishers do. And the pads it comes with, the wall one and the microfiber ones feel great. The foam pads it comes with do feel really, really cheap and nasty and feel like they're only going to last one polish. Now you will need, like I said, to buy yourself a three inch backing plate if you do want to use this as a three inch polisher and you will need to then go grab yourself some three inch pads. However, for the quality of this machine, the build of this machine and how it feels in your hand, I do feel like this machine is definitely worth a look. Now guys, I've been the Hairy Housewife. You guys at home have been great. Feel free to pop a comment down below on what you think of this polish if you have one, and I'll see you all again very soon.